Today is Saturday, the 2nd of March, in the second week of Lent. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. First reading, Micah chapter 7, verses 14 to 15 and 18 to 20. With shepherd's crook, O Lord, lead your people to pasture, the flock that is your heritage, living confined in a forest with meadow land all around. Let them pasture in Bashan and Gilead, as in the days of old, as in the days when you came out of Egypt, grant us to see wonders. What God can compare with you, taking fault away, pardoning crime, not cherishing anger forever, but delighting in showing mercy. Once more have pity on us, tread down our faults, to the bottom of the sea throw all our sins. Grant Jacob your faithfulness and Abraham your mercy, as you swore to our fathers from the days of long ago. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 15, verses 1 to 3 and 11 to 32. The tax collectors and the sinners were all seeking the company of Jesus to hear what he had to say, and the Pharisees and the scribes complained. This man, they said, welcomes sinners and eats with them. So he spoke this parable to them. A man had two sons. The younger said to his father, Father, let me have the share of the estate that would come to me. So the father divided the property between them, a few days later the younger son got together everything he had and left for a distant country where he squandered his money on a life of debauchery. When he had spent it all, that country experienced a severe famine and now he began to feel the pinch, so he hired himself out to one of the local inhabitants who put him on his farm to feed the pigs. And he would willingly have filled his belly with the husks the pigs were eating, but no one offered him anything. Then he came to his senses and said, How many of my father's paid servants have more food than they want, and here am I dying of hunger. I will leave this place and go to my father and say, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Treat me as one of your paid servants. So he left the place and went back to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was moved with pity. He ran to the boy, clasped him in his arms and kissed him tenderly. Then his son said, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick, bring out the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the calf we have been fattening and kill it. We are going to have a feast, a celebration, because this son of mine was dead and has come back to life. He was lost and is found. And they began to celebrate. Now the elder son was out in the fields, and on his way back, as he drew near the house, he could hear music and dancing. Calling one of the servants, he asked what it was all about. Your brother has come, replied the servant, and your father has killed the calf we had fattened because he has got him back safe and sound. He was angry then and refused to go in, and his father came out to plead with him. But he answered his father, Look, all these years I have slaved for you and never once disobeyed your orders, yet you never offered me so much as a kid for me to celebrate with my friends. But for this son of yours... When he comes back after swallowing up your property, he and his women, you kill the calf we had been fattening. The father said, My son, you are with me always, and all I have is yours. But it was only right we should celebrate and rejoice, because your brother here was dead and has come to life. He was lost and is found. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining us today on this spiritual journey through the daily Mass readings. If you found inspiration, reflection, or a deeper connection to your faith, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with others seeking spiritual growth, and subscribe for more daily readings. Let's build a community that embraces the wisdom of the scriptures together. Until next time, may your days be filled with grace and purpose. Stay blessed.